What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Trick Tens. Now obviously this boat is not my normal cup of tea, but this is part three of the Yen 10 build. This 1436 is going to be one bad little fishing machine. I am welding out the rest of the framing for this front deck and this thing is going to be sick. It is super heavy duty, yet it's going to be super lightweight, which is exactly what we need for a build like this. I'm just going to get right into it, guys. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking. I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys, so I got the entire front deck finished up. It's welded solid. This is made out of 3 by one by one sixteenth aluminum tubing. So this thing is super lightweight. The heaviest part is this piece of 125 on the front right here. But look how light this thing is. I mean, it has to weigh maybe like seven, eight pounds tops. This is a big deck, but it's really going to help out being this lightweight. And it's super strong. I mean, well, it's solid. It makes this whole thing like one complete unit. I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed and we'll get on to something else. Let's get back to work. All right, so I got this stainless steel winch eye installed up underneath of here. And what I'm going to do on the back side of this, see, I made a little sketch right here. I'm going to make a piece. Basically, it's going to be like a backer plate. It's going to come up, have a bend on the top just for strength. And I'll run both these bolts through that. I just put this little stainless piece on here that came with it. These are just finger tight. I'm going to make that tomorrow, finish that thing up, install that permanently. And I did go ahead and install this floor in here. And the way I got the floor installed, I ran some angles vertically on the front and back side and I welded those in and the floor is just floating still. I'm gonna come back and try to put some attachments through here with some rivets to hold this thing in the center. But what I really need to do is I need to get all these hatches finished up. I'm gonna take these to the powder coaters. You see how I did this one, I marked it off. So it come in about a half an inch and cut all that off. The reason for that is because these bench seats roll up dramatically and it's gonna look funny right here. It's gonna have like a void if I just run this turf straight up and over. So I'm gonna bring this back. That way it can kind of keep that same radius going on this back bench seat. Also got some other things to add like back here. You see I got this gap right here. I'm gonna add a half inch onto this hatch. That way everything will be nice and flush. You won't have a void right there either. But I wanna get all of the drain tubes in here. And I need to put the gas pistons on this front unit right here because this one is gonna have gas pistons on it. I gotta get all this stuff done, that way I can get it to the powder coaters. It's gonna take them probably a couple of days, you know, till the end of this week to get those done. And I wanna get all that stuff done right now. So tonight, I'm gonna put all the drain tubes, every single one of these hatches is gonna have a drain tube in it, and that one gets the gas pistons on it. I'm thinking about putting one of the batteries back here that's gonna power all of the electronics. This is gonna be the 12 volt battery. And then I'm gonna probably end up putting the 24 volt battery inside of this hatch right here. That way it'll be closer to the front and it's gonna power the trolling motor. And the one in the back 
will even out the weight a little bit with the battery and a gas tank on the opposite side. Now I'm probably gonna offset this battery. I'm probably gonna push it far over towards the starboard side because I'm gonna mount the Garmin Force trolling motor up here on the port side. I got a lot to do. Let's get back to work. All right, so the Yen 10 is starting to look like a Trick 10. Now in that last clip, you saw me making a couple pieces at my shop. One of those pieces that I made is this backer piece right here. This is made out of 316 aluminum, it's 10 inches wide. That little half inch lip on the top, it's gonna make this thing really strong. I'm gonna take this piece, put the holes in it. It's gonna go right up here. It'll fit up in there. It will sandwich all the way through and will make that winch eye super strong. The other two pieces that I made are the pans for the battery trays. I always make these out of aluminum. It makes a lot more sense for me because I'm an aluminum guy and I'm a welder. So I can just tack them into the boat and they're in there permanently. So he's going to have one right here. This one is going to be for the trolling motor battery. That's the big tray. I'm going to put that off onto the starboard side because the trolling motor is going up on the port side and I'm trying to counteract some of that weight because that trolling motor weighs a lot more than that battery does. Now this piece that's in here with it, the screen, that's just the piece that I cut out of the top of this rear bench seat. I'm trying to play around with how I'm going to finish off the internals inside of these hatches because as you can see, it's just the bottom of the boat, just the bottom of the boat, but I don't want to open his hatch and see all that. What's going to happen is stuff's going to fall in there. It's going to get stuck. It's going to clog up his runners for his drainage. We can't have that. I can't put anything too thick in there though, because it's just going to add weight into the boat. So the internals that I put inside of here are going to be very, very thin. Do not stand inside of your compartments, Ryan. It is not made to hold the weight of a person. It's made to hold the weight of your tackle and gear. I'm gonna put some real thin stuff like 040 aluminum inside of here. I'm gonna build just like a little box basically just to hold his tackle and stuff. Same type of deal right here. I'm gonna put a lot of foam in here and up underneath the, the deck, the front deck and the flooring inside of there. Same type of deal in here. I did put foam up underneath of this floor right here already for the drop down floor. And inside of this back bench, 
it already has a floor in it. So we're going to let that roll, and that battery is not going to be sitting there. That's the battery that's going up front. I was just playing around with it, and I think I got the layout figured out how I want to do this. So that's just going to be a big storage compartment right there, too, for tackle and life jackets. And then in the back, we're going to have a gas tank on this side, and I figured a gas tank would be better over here because he's got his drain plug. Well, it's on this side, but it really plugs in on the opposite side over here. And then we're going to put the battery tray on this side. That will give him a good weight over here on this side also to help kind of counteract with the gas tank, the motor. So I'm trying to lay this thing out the best I can. I really wanted to paint this thing this past weekend. I didn't get the chance to. I can't paint it today. It's cold. The temperatures dropped dramatically. It's like 40 degrees outside and it has been raining for the past three days straight. So I'm trying to figure up as much of this metal work as I can because the last piece that I really have to weld onto this boat is going to be for the trolling motor. So I'm going to figure that out tonight and try to get that wrapped up, weld it on there because I'm hoping in the next couple of days I can get this thing painted. But I did finish up all of the hatches that are going inside of this boat and the recessed foot pedal tray that's going to go up on the bow. I took them to the shop today. My brother had to go to the powder coaters and drop off a couple pieces. So he dropped them off for me. And I'm hyped about that because I don't want to paint those. I don't have time to paint those. And they're going to look sick the color that Ryan chose for them. So I'm going to go ahead and install that plate up on the bow as the backer plate, get that thing finished up. And then I'm going to try to start figuring out all the internal pans and sheeting and everything I'm going to put in here. Basically make this thing look like a finished product and not a John boat. I got a lot of work to do, guys. Let's get back to work. So I got the internals installed inside of this big front storage hatch. And this thing has a lot of room inside of it. It's actually 34 inches from port to starboard, and it's 26 inches from bow to stern. This thing is humongous. I'm going to hit Ryan up and see if he wants to put like a divider in here or something and section this off because you got a lot of room up inside of here. And what he puts in here, I don't want it to be heavy because I'm trying to keep as much weight into the back of the boat as possible because the actual water line on the side of this boat, it rides way up. Now, I know he had a big, heavy wooden deck in here, and obviously he was standing on that with a buddy and i'm assuming he had the outboard motor on at that time too without this big heavy trolling motor so we really have to offset some weight into the back of the boat but this is a huge area regardless and i want to optimize this the best way possible so the last piece of the puzzle that i have to do as far as the hull getting painted is going to be this trolling motor mount now this is a big trolling motor bracket this trolling motor is going to stick 
well back here past this hatch. And I'm trying to position it to where you can still open the hatch when the trolling motor is stowed, because it's gonna sit way back here. And I think I've got figure it figured out, but I've got to figure out how I'm gonna do this bracket. Now you can see this bracket right here. This is 0.125 aluminum. This is what I made. I got a little mark on this side right here. I'm gonna cut that out. That way I can drop it in up on this front. And it's gonna sit like that, but obviously it's gonna come all the way out to the front up here. That way I can weld it solid here and all the way back down this side. I'm gonna come back and build another little bracket and attach it to this deck on the front right here. I might even bring it all the way down and attach it to this deck right here. I'm not sure yet, but I'm trying to figure out the angle of this because the front of this boat, it rolls up pretty good right here. And the last low I built was a GI Joe boat. And I'm trying to remember exactly how I did that one because I knew I had an issue with this and I had to make this just right. So I've got a little bit of figuring to do with this thing. But my plan is to get this piece welded on here tonight. That way the entire hull is finished. I mean, I put the puck on the back, all of the decks and stuff are welded, everything's solid. The only other piece I gotta do is a little bit of pieces. They're gonna go across here and bridge this. They're just gonna be for support. I might actually tie those into one of these ribs. I did tie this front deck in to a rib on either side. I just welded a piece to the rib and then welded it to the bottom of this decking material. So I might do that. But other than that, the entire hull is finished as far as any type of welding on it. Cause when you weld on the hull, the paint, it just gets melted. And it's one of the things that you gotta get all that stuff done before you paint. And I wanna paint this thing. I'm hoping that this weekend is gonna be decent enough for me to get this thing outside, sand it down really good and paint it. That way that stage of the game is done because I did pick up all the hatches today. They look sick. I'm gonna show those to you guys in just a minute. But what I'm gonna do is put you guys back on the time lapse. I'm gonna try to figure out this trolling motor mountain bracket because I wanna get this thing done. I have got to get this stuff finished up so we can get this thing ready for paint. Let's get back to work. So I just got this trolling motor bracket installed on the front of this boat, man, this thing turned out perfect. As you just saw, I bent this thing in my little handbrake and that handbrake does not like bending eight inch aluminum. It was a struggle, but I got the job done. I bent an extra half inch on this side right here. Now, the reason for that is because I want this trolling motor to sit up a little bit higher. The front of this boat has a big roll up on the gunnels and I didn't want this thing to be sloped down because then when the trolling motor deployed, it would have been kicked forward. I wanted it to be perfectly vertical up and down on a 90 degree angle with his water line on the boat. Now I did some figuring. He had a water line that was kind of crazy, but he had a big deck that was sloped in here. It was all made out of wood and it was heavy. I think what I came up with is gonna work. I'm usually pretty spot on with these type of things. So I'm hoping this one works out the way I think it will. But the reason I did that is because in this back right here, we got a half inch and this basically comes down and it tapers all the way up to nothing in this front. And all that does is bring this trolling motor a little bit higher in the back. So when it deploys, it will sit more on a 90 degree angle vertically. This thing turned out sick. I laid some dimes on here. This thing looks really good. I wrapped this weld all the way around the side, up around the front, and then back on the other side. This thing is already strong. I mean, you could literally pick the whole boat up from this, but I am gonna come back and attach this to the mini deck in the front and to the main deck down here on the floor. Now I wanna show you guys something else. This hatch in here is sick. Obviously this thing is red. I got all these hatches done in this red powder coat. It turned out really good, but look how cool this thing is. It has these stainless steel gas pistons inside of it and it's got a humongous floor in there, lots of storage inside of this hatch. This thing is sick. All the hatches are powder coated this same color. I am not 
painting the boat red. Now I know we talked about that in the other episode, but we are not gonna paint this boat red. I will give you guys one hit on what color I'm painting this boat, and that's the Chaz Carrington build. So y'all go check that out and do your homework. But I do have all the rest of these hatches done. I just wanted to show you that one. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to install the rest of these braces in here, try to finish up the rest of this metal work. I'm gonna get back to work on this boat. But one thing I wanted to ask you guys about, I'm not 100% sure what these things are. I think I know what they are, but I wanted to get you guys' opinion on it. Right here. You see that little hook over there? It's like a bimini top hook. There's another one on this side right here. What are these things for? I'm not sure what they're for. My opinion, I think that since there's one in front of this middle bench seat and there's one in front of this bench seat right here, I'm thinking maybe they're just for like storage. There's something that Lowe put in here where you can hook like a carabiner hook or some type of a hook onto it and put your scale or whatever type of stuff you want to put up there. I think they're just something to put in there for storage, but I don't know. I got to get rid of them though. I got to get those things out of there. We're not using them and they're just weird sitting up there. The other thing I'm going to get rid of is these oar or paddle holders right here. He's got one on either side. I mean, he's not going to be paddling this boat. And if he is, he's not going to be using these. These are real old school. So we're going to remove those. Plus they're in the way for our LED lights. We're going to run up in here. So let me know if you guys know what those are for in the comments and let me know what type of LEDs and colors you want to see in this boat. I've got a lot to do on this boat. So I'm gonna get back to work, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Hit that like, subscribe button. I'll see y'all next time. I'm gonna get back to work.